टूडे एनी ऑफिस आर वर्क प्लेस सेटिंग ऑपरेट्स ऑन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इलेक्ट्रिकल इक्विपमेंट फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर्स टू मशीनरी कैन ऑल बी पोटेंशियली हजार्डस कैन काज शॉक एंड बर्न इंजरीज इफ एम प्रॉपरली यूज अ मेंटेन दो मोस्ट जर्नल पर्सनल डोंट नीड स्पेशलाइज इलेक्ट्रिकल सेफ्टी ट्रेन इफ यू वर्क अराउंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बट आर नॉट क्वालिफाइड टू डायरेक्टली हैंडल इलेक्ट्रिकल कॉम्पोनेंट्स इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू फॉलो इलेक्ट्रिकल सेफ्टी रिलेटेड वर्क प्रैक्टिस टू कीप यूर सेल्फ एंड अदर सेफ हेयर आर टेन इलेक्ट्रिकल सेफ्टी टिप्स फॉर द वर्क प्लेस टू हेल्प यू अवॉइड इलेक्ट्रिकल हैजर्स डियर फ्रेंड्स एंड फेलोज यू आर ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ safety first life if you are first time on this channel kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon for all future notifications and if you find the video informative then like comment and share it with your friends and colleagues let us start with the tip number 1 electrical safety prevent all potential contact with live electrical current the best way to stay safe is to stay away from electrical hazards these are the golden words unqualified personnel should not interact or come close to electrical currents greater than 50 volt if you must work in the same area or room as an electrical hazard or equipment operating on more than 50 volt maintain a safe distance all panel doors should be shut and there should be no exposed wires around your work area before you begin your operation this is number one precaution you need to stay away and you should never be in contact with live electrical parts or equipment electrical safety tip number 2 deenergize equipment and use lock out tag out procedure dear friends and fellows exposed live electrical parts must be deenergized before work on or near them is permitted prevent accidents and isolate electrical energy by locking and tagging out the electrical system or parts of the system according to your company's lock out tag out policy and procedure lock out tag out loto exists to protect employees from electrical hazards while performing servicing and maintenance activities deenergize and you need to memorize it because it can protect you from harm electrical shock burn or other electrical incidents electrical safety tip number 3 ensure safe use of electrical equipment properly using all electrical equipment can go a long way to ensure everyone's safety in the workplace employees should take care to handle electrical cords here you need to memorize always unplug cords by pulling on the plug head rather than the cord don't press or overstretch electrical cords don't fasten cords with staples don't hang electrical equipment from cords these are very common very basic precaution but you can avoid by adopting these precautions a massive a major a catastrophic accident in the workplace even at home additionally all cords and plugs in the workplace should be visually inspected for external defects prior to use if you encounter a cord a plug with damage don't use that equipment remove it from the service are maintained it by the help of a competent qualified and experienced electrician or electrical staff electrical safety tip number 4 install proper physical barriers around electrical hazards physical barriers should always be used to protect employees from any electrical hazards cabinet doors on electrical panels should always be closed and panels should not have holes where an employee could come into contact with exposed wires if cabinets cannot be closed or 
if an electrical hazard cannot be fully closed in, shields, barriers, or insulating materials should be used. Very easy word. This is the guarantee of your safety and health protection and avoidance from incidents, injuries, pain, suffering, and even maybe much more higher consequences like you are no more if you are in contact with the live electrical part. Let us understand how we can install proper physical barrier. For example, if a qualified electrician is performing maintenance on an electrical panel and must keep the panel open, physical barriers should be put in place to prevent others from entering the area. Signs should be placed to warn employees of the hazard and the area in front of the electrical panel should be kept free of any obstructions. Let us jump on the fifth tip, that is beware of conductive tools and cleaning materials. If you are working in an area where an electrical hazard is present, always assume that electrical parts are right and act accordingly. Don't use conductive tools in the area. If you are cleaning the area, note that some cleaning materials are conductive as well and require additional caution. Solvent and water-based cleaning materials are electrically conductive, as are steel wool and metallized cloth. Keep these cleaning products as well as any conductive tools away from live electrical parts and equipment. If you like, to keep the electrical power away from you, then you have to follow these basic instructions, guidelines, and you need to implement and follow in all cases, even you are working nearby or even you are working on an electrical circuit, equipment, or panel. Dear friends and fellows, you are on the platform of Safety First Life. Today, we are discussing about electrical safety 10 basic and mandatory tips how we can avoid electrical incidents, how we can avoid electrical shock, how we can prevent electrical fires and burns. Let us start with electrical safety tip number six. When working overhead, look above for electrical lines. Dear friends and fellows, when performing any work, a maintenance overhead, beware of electrical lines. In most workplaces, there is the potential for live electrical equipment and parts above the floor level, which are only accessible with ladders or elevated platforms. Be sure to use a portable ladder with non-conductive side rails and stay at least 10 feet away from any exposed electrical lines while you are performing overhead work. You need to memorize safe distances 10 feet from the energized electrical power lines and your platform where you are standing and working. If you are less than the 10 feet distance, you are in danger and accident is imminent at any time. Accident brings destruction, accident brings injuries and maybe death. Electrical safety, tip number seven, use extreme caution with flammable materials. Electrical equipment that can cause ignition must not be used where flammable vapors, gases, or dust present. The only exception to this rule is when qualified personnel take measures to lock out and isolate electrical energy sources before these potentially flammable materials may be used. Uh -huh. The electrical equipment is designed for use under these types of circumstances, conditions, and still it is safe. Electrical safety, tip number eight, only qualified person should work on live electrical wires. If you encounter a live electrical wire, stay away. Only qualified person with the proper training should work on live electrical wires. The same electrical safety precaution applies to hazardous electrical equipment. Any live electrical hazard should only be approached and managed by qualified electrician, qualified electrical supervisor, or electrical engineer. 
if you see a live electrical wire that is not attended, you should notify the appropriate electrical safety personnel who should immediately place physical safety barriers. It is our responsibility to identify the hazard and to report the hazard for corrective action to implement the controls right in time before it cause it can convert it to an accident. Electrical safety tip number nine. Always follow your company's electrical safety work practices, procedures, and policies. Every company has unique electrical safety work practices depending on electrical equipment and hazards present in your industry and in your workplace. It is important to always follow your company's specific electrical safety work practices to keep yourself and other employees safe and help the last tip electrical safety tip number 10 electrical shock can be deadly you need to memorize it in every situation treat an electrical part as if it is like electrically live parts don't look different from de-energized parts to ensure safety it's best to assume that any electrical part is like take precautions to keep power on its path and protect yourself. You cannot be too careful when it comes to electricity. Dear friends and fellows, electricity is a common but dangerous workplace hazard. Only those who are qualified to work with electrical components should do so. Otherwise, it is always in your best interest to keep away from live electrical panels electrical circuits, electrical lines, and electrical installations. If you have any question, please ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and share the video. Hope to see you soon with a new HSC tutorial. Until then, take care. Good luck and goodbye.